Hello! What? Welcome back for more Final Fantasy X, and this week marks the start of the side quest before our final encounter with Sin. And actually, it'll probably only run about a week, so this will be... This week will mostly be uh, side quests like uh, Aeons, Jack Spheres, and Ultimate Weapons. Uh, the next week will probably be heading to Sin. So, uh, first thing is first. Off screen, I went ahead and got Waka's last uh, Overdrive, which is the Orok Reels. It took me a while with Blitzball, but basically it appears as a random tournament prize in Blitzball once you have the other three uh, Overdrives. And also, I got his Jupiter Sigil, which you get after getting all four of his Overdrives. And it appears as a random prize in the league. So it took me forever, it took me like 50 games or something ridiculous like that, but we got it. And now we head on. Now before we can do any of the side stuff, we gotta initiate one more scene here. Oops. Rush this and we'll lose everything. We need to plan. Thanks, Careful. Warren. That wasn't the scene I was talking about though. Uh, we gotta go talk to Yuna and Kamari and kind of just think of thinking up of ideas now of how to defeat Sin. So we're gonna initiate that sequence, and then it's gonna let us. We're gonna be able to have access to uh, the airship and go wherever we want to go. And after we get everything, we're pretty much gonna go and uh, deal with Sin. <laughs> gonna be fun. Gonna be a fun couple of episodes. Yuna, Kimari, talk to me. I'm no good. At all. Uh, I don't say that. What are you talking about? All this time I've been thinking about how to defeat Sin. But I... Beyond the teachings of Yevon... I... I know nothing. I'm sorry. Nothing to be sorry about, Yuna. Yuna, no apologies. But... Apology is running. Yuna never run away. Thank you, Kamari. So, uh, Kamari, you got any good ideas? Yevon's teachings. The teachings won't help us fight sin. No answer in the teachings. Answers lie outside. Must know both sides to find answer. Both sides? Micah knows much. Find him. Make him talk. That's it! Kamari, and Kamari finally you rock. said something smart. <clears throat> Jeez. Man of little words. Kimari doubts Micah welcomes up. He'll have to run pretty fast to beat this airship. We cannot chase if we cannot <laughs> see. Yuna? To Bavel, then. Through the front door. You worried? I'll be fine. We can't stop now. To Bavel then! Except we're really not going to Bavel yet, but uh, story-wise, that will be the next part that we'll be going to. Alright, now we gotta head back to the station dock. See if anyone else has come up with some brilliant ideas to be sitting here, because um, talking to Mike is great and all, but who knows if, if he's gonna help us at all. We're still branded traders of Yevon for, through, for a lot of these p people, especially the Guados, so... Yeah, it might not be the best idea. Hey guys, I just had a great idea! It was my idea! Let me tell them! It's like this, yeah? I just thought... The hymn's the key. Ah! The hymn? Sir Jack likes the Hymn of the Faith, correct? Yeah. That's why he was listening to it in Makalania. Sin, violence incarnate, listening peacefully. Uh, I know it's your old man, and I don't mean no disrespect, but... No, it's fine. I've gotten used to it. Let me say it. If we attack Sin head-on, we've little chance of winning. However, if he hears the Hymn of the Faith, 
he will become docile. Yeah, and that's when of we make course. our moves. Uh, might be against the rules and all, but who's keeping track, yeah? Yeah? Yeah, it could really work. Yeah, yeah, it's worth a try. The hymn of the faith, huh? Hmm. It could work, but we won't be finding out anytime soon. Because, Sid. Well, that sounds like it a does. plan to me. My baby here will take us anywhere, anywhere we want. My god, where are we going? Look, we have an access to all the places in the game. And we can even input some words here, which we'll get into later. Uh, how do I get out of here? Ah! There, confirm. Pass or failed. And we can search for coordinates too, which we'll get into later. But for now, we gotta go back to Xanarkand. What? We just came for Xanarkand. I know, I know, but that is our first destination go. for the side quest, and I'll show you why. Because basically, we're gonna be getting the last treasure. Of the, of the cloister, so we gotta go to the dome area. We can use this little teleport pad to skip. Oops. To skip right there, so nothing to worry about. Oops. There you go. It's gonna take us right to the cloister. And basically, now we can uh, utilize the destruction sphere. There you go. Ache. Yeah, we'll be able to use the, utilize the. There's a destruction sphere that now we can be able to utilize and get the last treasure from the temple, and that's. And I'll be showing you what that's for very shortly, or in the next episode. So, all right. Um, now you got to do a little puzzle here, not a little puzzle. Well, basically, you got to step on this one. It's the, the puzzle kind of reset, but now it's like new corners. You got to. Activate all the white squares. So in the first room, it's these three squares. And then we'll head to the next room. And you want to activate this one. Okay. Uh, this one over here. Um, over here. And there's one more. Not that one, but this one. There you go. And now it's going to play a little song for us. Sounds nothing like the Tetris theme I remember from uh, Tetris, but we'll accept it, right? <laughs> anyway, what you do now is you'll notice a destruction sphere appeared over here. You grab it. You bring it to the second room and you place it in the right pedestal. Insert sphere. Okay. And now it's gonna blow the door open for us. Beautiful. Let's grab it. What do we got? A majestral rod for Yuna. Is it any good? Major staff, she has a pretty good one right now. Eh, it's decent, half MP cost, but we get something better very shortly, so there's no point of even equipping it. All right, now we can get out of Xanark and nothing left for us to do here. Um, trying to think here. I think what I'll do is, yeah, I have time to get one more core. I'm gonna get Kamari's. Should I even bother though? I think I pretty much decided I'm going to be getting everyone's ultimate weapons in the game, except for probably... I mean, I'll probably show you getting the ultimate weapons, but... Honestly, Kimari and Riku, to get their their sigils, their, or their main sigils, I tell you, it's a pain in the behind. It is annoying. So I'm honestly considering right now... I'm highly considering just skipping... Um, Let's go to Gagazette. I'll show you why. I'm highly considering just skipping getting their sigils and not worrying about powering up their ultimate weapons. I'll show you how to get the ultimate weapons, but Riku and Kamari, especially Kamari with the with the damn uh, uh, we gotta go to cave entrance. 
especially Kamari with the the butterfly minigame, it's just not worth getting, to be honest with you. So, e ah, leave me alone. So honestly, yeah, I'm probably just gonna forget forget about those. It's it's the best bet. But I'll show you how to get the ultimate weapons anyway. And as for Orin, oops, he's gotta edit this battle out. And as for Orin, uh, the way you get his last sigil is via um, uh, what is it? Jeez, I can't talk here. It's via the monster arena, capturing a bunch of monsters, so we'll be doing that later on, too. Uh, well, actually, I already did on a side thing, so I probably won't show you collect the monster. It's tedious. So I'll just end up showing you his ultimate weapon. Anyway, we got 20 seconds left of this video. I'm trying to get uh, Kimari's sigil we missed over here somewhere. Where is it? Where is it? Come on. It's over here between the pillars we missed. All right, here we go. It's over here. Oh. Over here. We completely missed this treasure chest last time we got the Saturn cast. Yay! Sweet! 